Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is episode 144. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Reoccurring guest in the building. She's still special, though. Special guest in the building. Reintroduce yourself to the audience. It's Taya Moore. I'm back. Third time's a charm. That's, and we got something new to tell you all about now that we have Taya here. We hooked up to collaborate with a bunch of fine podcasters in the tri-state area to do a podcast link live show, August the 4th, 2245 Manton Street, down South Philly. Doors are at 2.30. Tickets are available right now. We got the physical tickets on deck for you if you're watching right here on the eBlock Radio Network. There you go. Those are the official tickets right there. And we got the posters all around the city if you're in the city. You get the posters all around. You scan those QR codes. You get the physical tickets, and you can just hit us on the Eventbrite. Uh, again, that is podcast link live show on the Eventbrite. Get your tickets now. VIP tickets are available, and they will cost you more at the door. We're still looking for some more vendors, too. So if you want to vend at the situation, you hit one of us and let us know, hey, this is the product that I would like to move. We'll let you know if that spot has been already secured or if we can make something happen. But Taya, anything you want to say about Pi Link Live show before we move well, on to the show? All, we we'll dive back say, into this. First of all, I want to say Go we ahead. all linked up. I need y'all to use that word link, and I need y'all to hit that link. Okay, <laughs> so we gotta go air quotes on them too, cop. <laughs> we know you the show cur- you curating this situation. I'm mean, the show curator. With the Q C H that we have a set up. Podcast link for multiple reasons. We all linking up to do this show. I, myself, and Mr. Know It All. Shout out to him. Linked up to bring everybody to the show. So, and we want you to hit the link. So, you know, it's a trick on Tondra. For those who don't follow me, that's what I live by. Copy that. We're going to get into that at the end of the show when we get back to the Get to Know segment. But we just want to let y'all know up top, get those tickets now. August the 4th. Tickets are available right now. Now, episode 144, Ty has become a recurring guest here on the How to Hustle podcast with Hank, but we got another one for her. Is happiness a choice? Ty, you know we like to start with the guests here on the How to Hustle podcast with Hank. Talk to me. Is happiness a choice? Absolutely. It is a choice because you always have the power to decide how you're going to respond to what happens in life, right? That's where the emotional intelligence comes in. How I respond to things, how I look at life, you know, how content I am with what's in my life. So yeah, happiness is definitely a choice. You you choose to be happy or you choose to be unhappy. I already know when people see this, they're going to disagree. They're going to say, you know, things happen in life. But it's still a choice on whether you're going to allow something to have an effect on your happiness or you're not going to allow someone to have an, someone or something to have an effect um, on your happiness. Now, I'm going to tell you, I personally use the word content because I feel like content is more realistic. Life be life in. Shout out to Nah, I mean, like, like, <laughs> life be life, right? So it's unrealistic to think you're going to be happy every single day, right? So I always say that I'm content because that's an easier place to go up and down. Like, I can have a happy moment and go back to being content. I can have a down moment, go back to being content. So happiness is definitely a choice because I choose to say, that I'm content versus happy. That's the choice that I'm making. I can very much say I'm happy. You know what I mean? I have happy moments. I wouldn't say my overall disposition is happy just because this world is jacked up. Like, how could I really be, you know, happy all the time? You know what I'm saying? All right. So, damn. <laughs> you, you killed what? me because we kind of, we, we in lockstep here. Um, I, I agree that happiness is a choice just like it's like uh, being offended is a choice. 
when somebody put something out there, regardless of what the circumstances the circumstances are, you have the choice to be either happy, sad, or go left, go right type situation. And granted, some things, granted things, bad things happen all the time. They will continue to happen all the time. It's just the way your life is set up. But um, when people say like, uh, you're making me unhappy type of thing, it's like your happiness is not based on my actions. It's based on if you're still want to deal with my actions. It's based on if you're making the choice to still continue to be with me or around me or you could just walk the hell away. If this person is making you that happy, you can just walk away from them. But you're making that choice. People never like to look in the mirror and evaluate self and make the honest assessment that you are making that choice and that this is a decision that you've made. You don't have to stay with somebody or in a situation that you find is making you unhappy. But once you decide to stay there, that you've decided to be unhappy, you made the choice. But I do desperately, I definitely believe that it's a choice. It's a series of choices that you make that will get you to be happy or unhappy. Well, that's the emotional intelligence I was talking about when you said, you know, choose to be offended. Because that's what that is. That is saying, you know, how I let something affect my emotions. So it's kind of, you know what I mean? It's kind of the same thing. So that's a good comparison you gave about you choose to be offended, you choose to be happy. It really is on the same level because it all boils down to emotional intelligence. A lot of people don't have emotional intelligence these days. Though. Well, I, I'm, I'm I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> but in the words of JD, they taught us everything but emotional intelligence, so how could we have it? I know that when I was a kid growing up, nobody taught me about my emotional intelligence. I've learned it as an adult, and I'm glad that I did. And all along, I realized I did have some. But now I'm actually aware of, you know, what it is. And I feel like I'm on a higher level now. I'm not really offended easily by anything. Because like you said, it's a choice to be offended. I'm getting tired kills me. Uh what? That's like that's like the that's like nigga. When people say like uh nigga is cool to say for us, but it's not cool to say for nobody else. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck who says nigga. I don't care. I'm not offended by it. It's not something that is offensive to me. It's not a term that was thrown at me in an offensive manner, a term that was a derogatory manner. Now we talk in 1931 and we watched watching the movie and we're getting a depiction of something that was old. Now it's being thrown at this person as a derogatory term or an offensive situation. That's different. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh my God, my whole day is ruined though now because somebody said nigga, but you know, that's just me because I'm making the choice to not be offended by this. Now I know yeah. like when my mom grew up, things was a little different. Yeah. About, what was you about to say? No, you know, I agree with you. I'm just saying, yeah, like, especially on social media, right? If you're offended easily, it's not the place. Get off. Yeah, this is not the place for you. Like, I, I go on the shade room and stuff like that, and I see some of the comments that people make under there, and I just be like, you don't belong on social media. Because why is everything a thing? Why is everything, you know, some deep traumatic situation. Like, y'all can see the, the simplest thing that if you saw it in the street, you probably won't have a problem with it. But you see it on social media, and now it's just this whole big thing. So, yeah, you 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 don't belong on social media. Like, y'all, a lot, so people on social media are so offended so easily. I find myself sometimes, especially on Facebook, like, let me word it this way, because, you know, somebody gonna be offended. Like, it's, it's, it's wild. I, I made a statement one time where I said um, women naturally submit to men who we view as leaders. The amount of men who were offended by that was alarming. Now, of course, there's men on there like, you're absolutely right, but those are the men who are leaders, right? The ones who the women don't listen to them are thinking that I'm saying your woman don't listen to you because you're not a leader. I don't know why your woman don't listen to you. I'm telling you, from a woman, because the women agree, women naturally submit to men that we view as leaders. Not even in a so romantic sense, even in the, so much as, you know, you could be in a market, you know what I'm saying? And somebody is like, oh, let me help you with that. That's naturally like, here, here you go, here you go. Because that person took initiative. So it, it really is. All that right. Thing. So. So that goes, that all goes back to the same situation though. People don't make the strong evaluation of self. When you 
when you shine the light on, that shines the light on somebody when they look at their situation. I always tell people, whenever me and my wife have a disagreement, I try to look at it from her perspective to see, all right, because it always can't be the other person. Sometimes it's you. So it's like, let's try to understand what she's hearing and what she's getting from this. Let's see how yeah. you delivered that message. Look at yourself and don't just always make it the other person's fault. And um, okay. what you're saying there is, the dude who's listening, who's watching this, and this, uh, the dude who reads that comment on that post and sees that says, "But my situation ain't like that because my girl don't listen to me." Not making an evaluation of maybe I'm not a leader. Just because you're a man doesn't make you a leader. Just be, uh, just because you have a dick doesn't make you a man. It just means you're a male with a penis. Like just because you're a woman, just because you are a female doesn't make you like a a woman. Like. <laughs> There's certain characteristics and certain traits and certain things that qualify you for the job. Like, and if you don't have these things, then you are not that thing. But the problem we have now is we have too many people making bad evaluations of themselves. People look in the mirror and see something totally different than what is the reality of the situation. And some dudes just think, I am the dude, I'm the man, so I should be the leader. Not necessarily. If you're in a situation where she's a better leader, she's a stronger person than you are, then you should probably let her lead. Or you should have probably gotten some better skills to help you with leadership. You should probably get with some dudes who have those characteristics that you would like to pick up. But you shouldn't just assume because you are a man or because you are a male or you are a female that you're supposed to be in this one specific particular box. That's just my opinion, though. No, I agree. And I, and I, I think that's a good thing you said about not every man is um a leader. Not every male is a man. But let's and not every male is a leader. Right, either. but let's say this, right? What does a good leader do? A good leader knows when to delegate when there is a task that they're at that time not able to handle. And I think that's the part that people are missing. You know what I'm saying? A, a leader, leader doesn't mean that strength. you always have to be in control. A leader is also a person that decides, hey, I need to outsource. Or you know what I mean? Like I need to delegate to in this in this situation, I need to delegate this to my partner because she's better at handling this than I am. Versus you doing it simply because you're the man and now you now you mess it up and put us in a hole where I already where the woman knew how to handle this and if you would allow her to do it, y'all won't be in a hole. So that's part of being a leader as well. Leader and control are not synonymous. A good leader knows your personnel. You knows what everybody's good at, what everybody's not good at. You know where your strengths and weaknesses are. You know that you should have people there to pick up where you're weak. For argument's sake, if we're in a relationship and I know you better at managing money, why am I managing the money just because I'm a dude? If I'm bad at it and have, have shown over the years that I'm going to keep wasting money on frivolous things, but you're going to make sure that the bills is paid and that everything is taken care of, go to the bathroom. You don't need to come in and ask me that. My bad, full time dad. <laughs> yeah, like a good leader will know how to put everybody in the best spots in the best situations to make us succeed, not to make me feel better about being the man and looking good. Agreed. All right, now let's switch it up. We're going to get to the get to know segment of the show, sponsored by Custom Hustle. It's at Custom Hustle World on Instagram. It's Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. We do custom jerseys, custom jackets, uh, collar shirts, t shirts, uh, sweat shorts. Four versions of the sneaks, CH1s, 2s, 3s, and 4s. The 5s will be out this summer, we're just going to say. Also now, Custom Hustle has the sunglasses. The sunglasses are on deck as well. You know what I'm saying? Get with us at Custom Hustle World to get yourself a pair of these sunglasses. Also, we have the pocketbooks for the ladies. The pocketbooks are available now in all colors, and we have a few different styles that will be coming out again sometime this summer. So... You get with us at Custom Hustle Worlds, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter, Custom Hustle World on Instagram, and make all your customized purchases. Now, Taya, we're going to do a little word association with you uh, <laughs> this time because we've gotten to know a lot of Taya on these episodes. So now I throw something out there and you just give me what you think. Caitlin Clark. <laughs> Privilege. Biggie Smalls. Go. Donald Trump. Asshole. Omar. Hawaii. 
we talked about that the last time with the Kennard situation. So come on, give me just a little bit more on the Omar situation. Because if you've heard this episode before with Taya, check those out in the archives, How to Hustle Podcast, right? Give me a little bit more. Come on, Omar. Give me a little bit more. Um, he don't like to repeat it, so. <laughs> All right, Stringer. <laughs> Snake. Stringer was one of my favorites, man. Until he did D'Angelo's girl, Stringer was my guy. Snake. <laughs> basketball. I see you a lot of your posts. You be talking a lot of sports and situations. Basketball. Who's your Who's your guy? Of all time, my or my favorite player. Your favorite player. Kobe. We love that answer at the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hank. Because he's the GOAT. Who is the GOAT? Who do you think is the GOAT? I don't believe anybody's the GOAT. I'm all y'all yeah, elaborate on that one now. <laughs> we come to a screeching heart now. We need, we need a full elaboration right here. All right. So I don't believe anybody's the GOAT because I feel like there's too many things in different eras that aren't the same to actually say that one person is the best. For example, Michael Jordan didn't play in this era. LeBron didn't play in Michael Jordan's era and so so forth. So, and then a lot of people will say that I'm not going to say, I don't necessarily agree with this, but because I don't think it's fair to say, but they'll say LeBron played against less talented people than Michael Jordan. He did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you said that, they I didn't do that. They both played a few crumbs, but go ahead. I mean, they both did, get, but I'm saying like this a lot get of, no hype. It's like, no time. like <laughs> <laughs> like Michael Jordan had to go through, you know, the bad boys, the pistols. They used to whoop pistols. Like, yeah. Them Jordan rules, that's a real thing. So, mm -hmm. um, when he started winning, it was Jeff Horn the second, Dan Marley. So, my other thing is that each person has done something the other person has not. So, it, it all depends on your criteria. Like, for example, Michael Jordan never lost a final, LeBron has lost. Six finals. But LeBron is, you know, the leading scorer of history. And he's broke multiple records and he's won on three teams. Like, you know, like each person has I don't done think LeBron's in, I don't think LeBron is in this conversation. I don't know why okay. people are always breaking him up. I don't think All he's right, well, I mean, that's the conversation. <laughs> him him and a lot of people don't have Kobe in the conversation. So. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are wrong. They thought the earth was flat. They thought when they sent people on the boat. Uh, oh, well, that's a shot at Kyrie. Don't do that. <laughs> um all right <laughs> the last one that i got why are women over 40 underrated because we are say no so the reason why women over 40 are underrated is because i feel like i see a lot of men you know that are 40 and over saying they don't want women that are 40 because we're not fun because we're setting our ways, we're ignoring, you know, all this nonsense, right? And it's absolutely not true. Women over 40 are lit, okay? You know, we know what we want. Most of us, you know, are stable financially. I'm not saying we're rich, but, you know, stable financially. And we absolutely are fine. Like, I don't, all the women I know that's over 40, when we go somewhere, we still have a good time. We still look good. So, yeah, we're definitely underrated. They, 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 people be don't want to be involved with us. You know what I mean? A lot of men want somebody 24, 25, and nothing against them. Although I got a 24 year old, I can't see her dating somebody my age, but you know, that's neither here nor there. But you know, what, what is, what are you going to do when it's time to make them appointments at the doctor or, you know, it's time to do certain things that a younger woman may not be experienced at doing yet? Not saying some of them aren't, but some of them aren't. You know, like there's a lot that comes with having a season one. Now, yeah, some men may not like the whole setting your ways thing, but and I believe any person it's in eighty is, eighty twenty. Eighty twenty. And we're I believe, I we're believe any person in their forties is setting their ways. Um, but anybody yeah. who wants to be in a relationship, regardless of your age, you could be 15 or 50. If you want to be in a relationship, a prosperous relationship with somebody, 
gonna have to come out of some of your ways because you're gonna have to grow as a we and not just me. And if y'all stop growing as as we, then we just two individuals that just have a fucking. Yeah. Um, now this is the last segment of the show. This is what we need to know, which is sponsored by H two H Cleaning at H two H Cleaning on Instagram only. We do roof and plumbing, flooring, HVAC cleanups, cleanouts. We, we can trim a tree. We can trim your yard. We can chop down a tree. We can get you all the way situated. However, you need that situation worked out over at H two H Cleaning. We are here to help, so just tell us how we can help. Taya, what no, do you need to know? No, look, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. It's a bean outside for y'all. I know, but I'm like, I'm just looking now, like this whole, I'm looking now, like this whole episode, I just happened to look what? down, and I'm literally sweating. So anybody see this, that's what it is. I'm not Wasn't frustrated. nobody noticing until you started zooming in hey, on listen, yourself. I just had to <laughs> What do we need to know, Ty? Talk to me about what we need to know. We have any books we wrote? Are we curating anything? We have any new t-shirts happening, Ty? Don't listen, leave stuff listen, out. Listen. All right, so I have a few things to say. Okay, since the last time. So, no, last time I did talk with my author, T's, I would have one on, but as I said, as he said, it's a bean outside, and I was hot in it, so I had to take it off. I had on my I Am Content shirt, I Am Content. Double meaning. Remember, I told y'all about the entire thing. Um, so I had the author T W dot J U G G Y D E Z I N E Z dot com backslash A U T H O R T E E S. And actually, as of today, author T now has tumblers. My quotes are on tumblers. So when y'all drinking y'all coffee or drinking y'all tea or water, or whatever in the morning, you can drink it with one of my amazing quotes on them. So I'm very excited about that. Literally this happened today. So that's a how to hustle podcast excuse. All right. Copy so that. um the other thing is no I don't have any books right now. Um I actually am working on with somebody but I ain't gonna talk, talk about that right now. We'll 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 come back on later when it's done. And New listeners about. every day Taya throw the books out there that you have already done Taya. I'm trying to oh. let you live here. But you appear oh. to be fumbling the ball tie. <laughs> my bad, my bad. You know, I'm trying to take over nobody's show. All right. Um, this is all about oh. you. This is what we need to know. This ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. All right, okay. <laughs> A fresh cup of tea, no sugar. Um, that is on Amazon. Uh, self care is bay. Bay stands for before anything else. It is a self care. Workbook journal for men and women. This is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. So, yes, I absolutely do care about men's mental health awareness. Absolutely. That's why I made the journal. It's for men and women. Um, and last but certainly not least, Podcast Link Live Show. As Hype said, I am the show curator. That means from the moment y'all walk in, and see comedian Mel Harris on stage until we end the show, giving a bow with all the performers, and I'm back behind stage. I told them I ain't coming out there. They keep saying they're going to pull me out. Taya but, comes out at about 5, no, 532. We bring so Taya from, out. From the time the curtain opens to the time the curtain closes, that's going to be all me. How it flows, what the topics are, everything. I'm curating this whole thing. I'm very excited. Um, The last to tie in today, I'm the curator for the Mr. Know It All podcast. Every week, every show, I'm the curator. Sometimes I'm on there when they just invite me. You know, Hype and I was on there a couple weeks ago, and we talked so much, it wound up being two parts, 182 part one and part two. So that's what I got going on. Um, I'm very excited. My Black Fathers are underrated. Arthur T's did pretty well. Besides the fact that somebody tried to bootleg me, but that's a whole nother story we can talk about another time. Um, but yeah, that's what I got going on. And you know, third time the charm. It's my third time being on here. <laughs> so, you know, you keep inviting me back. I guess I'll be doing a good job. Hey, listen, put your feet up, get comfortable. <laughs> um, all right, y'all. That's episode 144 of the How to Hustle Podcast for Hank. Appreciate y'all hitting the button. Make sure y'all get them tickets. Hit the link in my bio. Podcast link live show August the 4th. Tickets are on sale now. Appreciate you hitting the button. We are out. I am Hank. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. Feel it, feel it.